Hello, I'm Adrian Kennard from Andrews and Arnold, and I thought I'd show you a little bit about the couple of types of keyboard we use in the office. I've done blog posts about keyboards before, but I haven't done a, a video blog, and it's one of those sort of statistical anomalies. Every time I post about keyboards, I get thousands and thousands of hits on my blog, and I have no idea why, so I thought I'd see if the same was true for a video blog. The first keyboard we'll look at is the Unicom keyboard. It is a remake of the IBM Model M keyboard, a very old keyboard. It's called a buckling spring keyboard. This particular layout is an Apple layout, which works extremely well with my Apple Mac. It's got all of the familiar Apple keys, and so it's obviously a little bit different than your average PC layout, and it doesn't have an annoying Windows key. A key feature of this keyboard is it's called a buckling spring keyboard, and I'll show you why. Under the keys, we actually have two parts here. There's a, an underlying key here, and inside you can see a spring, and that pushes on a lever. And when that spring is pushed down, it eventually buckles. You can just about hear a click maybe. And then there's separate key tops which makes it a lot easier for cleaning. The Model M style Unicomp keyboard is very nice to use. The keys are easy to press but there's a nice tactile feedback as the spring buckles and the key moves and you hear a click. It can be rather annoying for those around you if you're typing because it's a noisy keyboard. But I really like it. The other keyboard we have here is the Philco keyboard. Now these are much more modern. They actually use cherry key tops. They sound remarkably similar and they have a nice tactile feedback. They're actually a lot lighter keys to press. And the other nice thing about this keyboard is it's really sort of sub substantially heavy. It stays put on the desk when you're typing with no problem. Again, a very nice keyboard, a lot more modern. Uh, this particular one's in a Windows layout, but I don't know if you can get an Apple layout, it would be rather nice. But it's, a, it's one of the most popular keyboards we have in the office. So there you go, that's two of the keyboards we use. And uh, between those two, they're both a little bit noisy. We're very happy with our keyboards in the office.